So let me show you how to use and also customize the crossfade. Now to see the crossfade, click this and then notice below each track an A and B. A represents the left side and B the right. To manipulate this crossfade, I'll assign a physical controller with MIDI map, click crossfade and move the physical control. Perfect. Now, notice it currently doesn't do anything. And that is because both A and B are deselected. And so what I can do is assign A to the left channel and B to the right. Notice you can assign multiple tracks to each side or even have a channel unaffected by the crossfade. For example, here track three is also on the right, but track four is unaffected by the crossfade. In addition, you can actually customize this crossfade with each of these algorithms affecting how the crossfade mixes from one side to the other. The differences are most easily explained with the diagram. Default constant power tends to sound most natural. Whereas maybe for certain live setups, slow or even fast cut might make more sense. Let me demonstrate fast cut. More specifically, this fast cut algorithm gives you three easy to play zones. Far left is just A playing, far right just B, and the middle both together. Whereas with constant power, playing that would be almost impossible, as I'd have to go almost instantaneously from one extreme to exactly in the middle, which is pretty impossible. So whenever using the crossfade, do be aware of these algorithms. Thanks for watching.